Y'all get ready? Yes, you get ready. Shout out to all my tea sippers out there. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your tea cups ready because you already know this tea is what? Piping hot. All right, you guys, so I want to come out here and talk about the whole Lori Harvey and P. Diddy situation, okay? So a lot of y'all been asking me to hit up on this topic. So if you guys don't know, there has been rumors for the past few months, ever since March, that Lori and P. Diddy were dating. We saw pictures of them in matching outfits, and, you know, you see Lori hang around Diddy a lot, okay? But the disturbing part is, at one point in time, Lori was also dating P. Diddy's son, Justin Combs. So this entire situation is crazy as hell. And over the weekend, they finally made their public debut by going out to lunch with Lori's parents, who are Steve Harvey, who's her stepfather, and Marjorie Harvey, who's her mother. I want you guys to go ahead and look at these pictures. I'm going to come back with the rest of my commentary. All right, so you guys just saw the pictures of Lori Harvey, Steve Harvey, damn it, Marjorie Harvey, and dang on P. Diddy, okay? This entire situation to me, I just, I just don't find it cute, point blank, period. Lori Harvey, while she's a beautiful girl, nice body, to me she comes off as a jump off and a pass around, okay? And the reason why I say that is this. One, her last name is not really Harvey. She's the only one out of all her siblings who changed her name to Harvey because she's using her stepfather's name to clout chase. We hear more about Lori Harvey than we ever hear about Steve Harvey's biological children. Most of y'all don't even know that he has twin daughters. You don't even hear about his twins the way you hear about his stepdaughter, okay? So that always kind of made me give her the side eye that she ran to go change her last name. Meanwhile, her siblings are still using their regular last names and, you know, living their best life. So last year, she was definitely all over the blogs. Um, rumor has it she was dating Future and Justin Combs around the same time. And then the paparazzis, they caught her um, going shopping with Trey Songs, and she tried to hide in the car. She tried to duck down low and hide her face. And so once that went viral... Uh, Justin Combs basically blasted her on Instagram and so did Future. Y'all go ahead and check this out and I'm going to come back with the rest of my commentary. Duck too late. I see you. I like that. It's cute. Cute. Keep it up. All right, so you guys just saw those posts. You guys just saw what uh, Future had to say and what Justin Combs had to say. And then she was also tied to um, Lewis Hamilton. She was dating him around the same time as well. And then what was even crazier is that Meek Mill basically name dropped her in his 2018 song called Going Bad, where he basically said he wants Lori Harvey on his Christmas wish list. So basically her name has been around the industry for a while now. And the same way I drag Future for basically slinging his dick out here like Tic Tacs, she's going to get the same energy from me, okay? Um, you know, at 22 years old, it's not a good look seeing her jump from man to man to man. A lot of these relationships are overlapping. And then now we see her dating old ass P. Diddy, okay? Diddy's almost 50 years old. He has absolutely nothing in common with this girl besides sex, okay? Now, I find it funny that Steve Harvey and Marjorie Harvey are condoning this. They're only condoning this shit because it's P. Diddy, okay? If this was P. Smitty, a mechanic in the hood, and I'm not saying that mechanics are broke because most mechanics, they make a lot of good money. But if 
this was a regular old man who was 49 years old, you know what I'm saying, dating this 22 year old, I'm sure Lori and Marjorie would have an issue with it. We know Marjorie's a gold digger, you know what I'm saying? Her kid's father was like one of the biggest drug dealers in Detroit, okay? And then she went from that to, you know, getting with Steve Harvey and everything else. So my thing is they're only condoning this because of who Diddy is and because Diddy has money. Now, this is the same mentality, okay? I want y'all to watch this, that a lot of these R. Kelly parents had as well. They were cool with their young daughters, 18, 19, 20, 21, dating R. Kelly because of his status. That's why I say when I see a lot of these relationships going on with men who are super older than a lot of these younger girls, even though she's legal, yes, yeah, she's over the age of 18. But like I said, most people will condone this because of the man's status. This is no different than these parents who were condoning their daughters dating R. Kelly because of his status, even though R. Kelly has a long history of messing with underage girls and having a lot of issues. A lot of these parents were willing to look the other way. Where's my daughter I want to know where my daughter is. Where is she at? Answer that question. And that's what I see when I see this whole Steve Harvey, Marjorie Harvey situation going out on a lunch date with P. Diddy. Because like I said, if this was somebody who didn't have the same status, the same money, there'd be no lunch date. They'd probably put an end to the relationship. They would not condone this. So I'm not feeling it, but to each his own. If she wants to be known for dating father and son and industry hopping, that's on her. But I just think it's really sad that P. Diddy cannot find somebody around his age. But the reason why he cannot find a woman around his age, the reason why he was unwilling to marry, you know, Kim Porter is because an older woman is not gonna put up with his shit. Point blank period. I know Cassie is somewhere rubbing her damn belly, honey, and thanking her lucky stars that she ran off with his damn personal trainer and she's now living her best life, okay? So this entire situation is a hot damn mess, but you know what? I'm here for it, bitch. So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire crazy situation. Once again, concerning Lori Harvey and her latest conquest, who is now P. Diddy. How do you guys feel about this? And do you guys agree with me that she's no different than any of these other guys who are hopping from girl to girl, guy to guy? You know what I'm saying? The fact that she dated his son, now she's dating the father. And then do you agree with me that the Harveys are only condoning this relationship because of who it is? It's because it's P. Diddy. It's because of his money. It's because of his status. So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. I want to know your thoughts on this entire messy situation, honey. So go ahead and leave a comment. All right. Deuces.